Adamız imzamız. She is going to need more money in the business, and so she makes the following arrangements. Okay, uh, Lisa continues uh, her business, and she needs more money to expand her business. In this case, she immediately invests a further two hundred fifty dollars of her own capital. First of all, uh, this is the same transaction uh, which we met in the first transaction of this case. Okay, Lisa invested $250 in business. This is additional investment. And we know that as a result of this investment, assets, cash item under the asset column will increase by by $250. Okay. And uh, Lisa's capital will increase by $250. And in this case, left side equals to right side. Okay. Cash increase, capital increase. Okay. Uh, next case related to this additional money, she persuade, persuades her uncle Henry to lend her $500 immediately. Okay. And uncle Henry tells her that she can repay the loan whenever she likes, but in the meantime, she must pay him interest of $5 each week at the end of the market day. Okay. She asked uncle Henry to borrow $500. Uncle Henry said that it's okay, but at the end of the each week, you will pay me $5. This is kind of interest, yes? Interest of this debt. Okay. And you can pay whenever you want, okay? This is the Uncle Henry's term in this borrowing. And they agree that it will probably be quite a long time before the loan is eventually repaid. It means Lisa, uh, in this case, Lisa considers to pay this loan after six months, after four months, after a year. But uh, each week, Lisa will pay uh, $5 interest expense or interest to the Uncle Henry. Okay. What's written there? Cash also increased again five hundred dollars because we borrowed this five hundred dollars from Uncle Henry. And at the same time we will have liability in this case. Loan, it's called loan and $500 in front of the loan. And what does it mean? Left side equals to right side. Both of these sides increased by $500. Okay? We're going back to our transactions. She decided to buy, first of all, what is the purpose of this case, Lisa Doolittle's case. We want to understand which, in which transaction, which item should be recognized, okay? And uh, in this transaction, we'll have asset exchange, we'll have capital increase, asset increase, we'll have liability increase, asset increase, or we'll have asset decrease, liability decrease, okay? Uh, or we'll have owner's equity decrease, asset decrease, and we want to understand uh, first of all, we should know that each transaction has its two different sides. One side is the source of this transaction, another one is uh, the actual side, we can call it. For example, in our accounting question, source of these transactions uh, is the right side of this accounting equation, source of finance. Left side of this, transaction, uh, this accounting equation is the asset side. And we can, these are sources of our 
company. Okay, and we continue with the uh, transaction B. She decides to buy a second-hand one to pick up flowers and plants from her supplier and bring them to her stall in the market. She finds a car dealer, Lori Loader, who agrees to sell her a van on credit for seven hundred dollars. Okay, she purchases. In this case, she purchases a car, uh, second, second hand car on credit. Okay, and Lisa agrees to pay for the van after 30 days trial use. Okay, it means Lisa will pay this after 30 days. But today, this is credit purchase, and we are discussing here in this part of this question of this case. We are discussing receivables and payables. Okay, this is credit purchase. And we purchase car and will have liability. Lisa will have liability in this case. She will pay this after 30 days. Okay, we're going to our answer and say that, okay, we purchase a car. This part, okay? We purchase a car. We will increase our van or car $700. But this is credit purchase, and we'll have payable in the next after thirty days. Okay, this is our payable, seven hundred dollars. And source of this finance, the source of this asset is debt financing. Okay, is debt or payable in this case. Okay, we continue with the transaction C. During the week, Lisa's uncle George Lisa's uncle George telephones her to ask whether she would she would sell him some garden gnomes and furniture for the for his garden. Okay, uncle called her and asked uh, some garden gnomes and furniture for his garden. Lisa tells him that she will look for a supplier. After some investigations, she buys what Uncle George has asked for paying uh, $300 in cash to the supplier. It means Lisa found all of the asked items, garden gnomes and flowers, and furniture, sorry, and uh, Lisa paid $300 to all of these items. And Uncle George accepts delivery of the goods and agrees to pay $350. Okay, but he asks if she can wait until the end of the month for payment. Lisa agrees. It means Lisa today Lisa pays $300 for all of these items, but uh, also uh, dispatched all of this to the Uncle Henry. Then dispatched all of this to un Uncle Henry. But Uncle Henry said that, okay, I will pay you $350, but can we wait until the end of the month? And Lisa agrees in this case. It means, first of all, when here, 700. First of all, our cash will decrease, and we can create temporary account here, temporary account, furniture or garden gnomes, furniture just right here, and cash decrease and furniture account increase. And then immediately we dispatch all of this furniture for $350, okay? We dispatched all of this furniture for $350. We sold all of this furniture. And we'll have sales revenue, $350, sales revenue, and what is the cost of this furniture, $300, yeah, cost of, we paid $300 for this furniture, and we can easily calculate what is the profit on this transaction, $50. Yeah, and this profit uh, is calculated as a result of sales revenue three hundred fifty dollars and cost of this furniture three hundred dollars. 
fifty dollars together. We don't write profit. We can write profit here. Okay. Shortly, we can write profit instead of these two items. Profit. Fifty dollars. Okay. We decreased our cash. We increased our furniture. And then we decreased our furniture and we made profit in this case, in this transaction. And what else we have in this case? We sold all of this on credit. It means after several days or at the end of the month we'll receive this money. Receivable account we have. This is new account for this case, okay? Receivable account. Receivable. And what is the receivable amount in this case? Why? 350. 350, yes. 350. Okay. Left side of this account equation increased by $50. Yes? Because furniture decreased by $300 and receivables increased by $350. And right side of this accounting equation also increased by $50 as a result of earned profits after that transaction. Okay, left side equals to right side in this case. We continue with our example. Lisa buys flowers and plants costing $800. Okay. Flowers. Eight hundred dollars. In front of flowers, we can write eight hundred dollars. But of these purchases, seven hundred fifty dollars are paid in cash. We use cash to purchase these flowers, but only seven hundred fifty dollars we use. But total value of these flowers is $800. And remaining part, $50 on 7 days credit. It means our cash will decrease by $750. Because we have paid this amount to our flower supplier. Our flowers increased by $800. But we have $50 payable to our supplier in this case. This is trade payable, just say. Trade payable, $50. Left side, again, equals to right side in our account equation. <clears throat> okay. And Lisa decides to use SL services, again, as an assistant on market day at an agreed wage of $40, okay? Lisa will use SL service and will pay him $40 in this case. Okay, on 13th July, Lisa succeeds in selling all her goods earning revenue of $1,250, all in cash. She decides to withdraw $240 for her week's work. Okay, Lisa sold all of these $800 of flowers for $1,250. And all in cash. Please read uh, words in brackets. All in cash. It means our cash increased by $1,250. Flowers decrease by $800. After that sale, we'll have new flower. Okay? And we'll have $450 profit after that transaction. $450 profit. This case helps us to understand all these transactions using different accounts, okay? And and that will help us in the further uh, cases in this session, okay? We'll discuss double entry accounting and T-accounts and we'll understand debit-credit entries.
if we understand the basic accounting equation transactions using accounts. Okay, uh, we shall ignore any van expenses for the week for the sake of relative simplicity. And she decides to make the interest payment to her uncle Henry the next time she sees him. Okay, this is the end of the week. But she couldn't manage to pay this $5 interest to Uncle Henry. Therefore, she promised herself, if I see Uncle Henry next time, I will pay this $5 to him. Okay. We have done all of this uh, after the purchase of goods. Okay, we have done this part, and the last part will be profit loss statement of the last day. Sales thousand two hundred fifty dollars. This is a simple profit loss statement for the day, and cost of goods sold eight hundred dollars. It means cost of this sale, and we had four hundred fifty dollars profit after this sale. And what do we have? We have wage for SL. We'll pay wage to our uh, to our employee, yes, in this case, to our employee. And what we'll have? In this case, $40. This is wage expense. And in our previous session, we have discussed that. What is the difference between uh, wage expense and drawings and we say that in this case if that person is our employee we pay this uh, as an as a wage expense and this amount should be included in our profit loss statement okay and therefore we included this in our profit loss statement and we say that okay under the owner's equity column wage expense forty dollars in bracket it means negative figure and at the end of the week, it doesn't matter, we, in accrual basis, we have discussed all of this. And we recognize expenses when these expenses actually incurred. And we recognize revenues when we actually generate that revenue. And if this is the end of the week, and if I promise to Uncle Henry, I will pay $5 uh, interest for each week. And if this is the end of the week, it means I am liable to pay $5 to Uncle Henry. Therefore, I say that this is my expense for this week. Okay, $5 for this week. This is my expense. It doesn't matter I have paid this or I haven't paid this amount yet. Okay, therefore, I say that this is interest expense $5 in bracket, but I haven't paid this amount yet, therefore that amount is, uh, will be our payable for interest payment. Or we can call it interest payable. Interest payable, five dollars. It means on the right side of our account equation, we decrease our owner's equity, but we increase our interest payable. The total will not be changed in this case, yeah? Minus 5 plus 5. Right side will not be changed after that transaction, but we have two more accounts after that transaction, after recognition of our interest expense and in interest payable. And what we have? Uh, we have paid $40 to ESL, to our employee. It means cash decrease by $40 and our expenses increase or our owner's equity because we have said that expenses and drawings always decrease owner's equity owner's equity decrease okay and we we have one more transaction at the end of the week Lisa withdrew $240 from his company, in this case, $240, withdrew $240 for her 
big square. And in this case, of course, this is... <laughs>